I'm elevated, overeducated. I run the race for who I resonate with. I break the bread with you to work the nation. Like this. I'm having fun, I'm wild, I spaz when I turn with the status, I'm breaking them over this. What's going on? How's your day? Welcome back to another video with your boy, Jordan. If you are new here, I am Jordan. I make Cobra vlogs. I make tip videos. I just make videos about like what it's like to have a Cobra. I've had mine for nine years now. You may have seen it on the interwebs. You may have seen it in a viral YouTube video. Terminated your eardrums. So you may have seen it in viral TikTok videos. Yeah, I'm all in. Now that you know who I am, let's get right into this. But before we do, please leave me a like. That helps me a lot in the algorithm to push my videos to other people that might be looking for Terminator Cobras, thinking about buying one, not sure what parts to put on it when they get it, or already have one, haven't put any parts on it yet. I want to help those people. Help me help them. Help, help me help. Since I'm helping you, help me help them. Here are the first five modifications that you should do as soon as you buy yourself a 2003 to 2004 Terminator Cobra. Number one is gonna be rear tires. If you plan on modifying your Cobra at all, and let's be honest, you're going to modify your Cobra, you need to get something other than the stock 275 street tires. Forgive me, my car's really, really dirty. I don't have a garage and it's been raining like every day, but. These are 315 Nitto 555Rs. I love them. If you're around 500 wheel or less, they're great. If you are a baller, go ahead and get the Toyo 888R Proxies. Those are literally the best tires that I've seen for the 0304 Cobras for just all around street use and hooking as well. I'm not a baller, so I got the budget 888s, which are the 555Rs, and they work good for me. So number two is just gonna be lowering springs because ha have you ever seen an 0304 Cobra with, with stock springs? It's pretty bad. I wouldn't recommend getting yours as low as mine. Mine's literally slammed. It's, uh, it's actually pretty difficult to go over bumps. So actually, me myself, I, I got the h &R race springs and then I cut the top spring off and then I took the isolators out. I would not recommend to do that. <laughs> For obvious reasons, I was like 17 when I did that. Just get racing springs or lowering springs and just put them in. Don't take the isolators out. Don't don't cut the top spring. I was young and stupid. Yeah, you don't want to be slammed like this unless you're on bags, and that's a personal decision. Number three is just gonna be getting a smaller blower pulley. As you can see, I've got a Whipple. I upgraded my blower. You can do this as well. If you want to do this in one fell sloop gain 100 wheel horsepower, get a two three Whipple. But if you just wanna add like 30 or 40 wheel horsepower, all you gotta do is take off your stock blower pulley and put a 276 blower pulley on and then get your Cobra retuned and you're gonna make a good bit of power just from changing the pulley size. That's one of the things that people love about Terminator Cobras still is they have a factory Eaton blower and all you gotta do is change the blower pulley size and then boom, you gain a ton of torque and horsepower from that. Number four is going to be your exhaust system. If you're going to be driving this car around one day, two day, three days a week, you, you wanna enjoy the way it sounds all the time. You want your exhaust to be a symphony of aggression or passive aggression, whatever you want. You just wanna, you wanna enjoy that exhaust note all the time. When you're driving normal, when you're, when you're driving semi-aggressively, when you're driving very, very aggressively, when you're trying to get to your girlfriend's house after she sent you a text of how for me i've got borla attacks because i like just the loudest obnoxious most crazy thing possible For a lot of people, that's gonna be way too loud and way too raspy. For a lot of people, I would just recommend Borla Stingers. Which is what most people put on their Cobras when they get Cobras. Or if you want kind of a classic sound without being too flow mastery, you could get the Mac Cat back. I think Mac sounds great. Have you ever seen the snake bite video? That, that is Mac Cat back in Cook's Headers, I believe. Thank you. 
it sounds fantastic. I myself right now have Borla Attack Catbacks, Alfred X, and Cook's Headers, which is just insane. I also have Stage 3 Comp Cams, so it's, it's completely absurd. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone that doesn't like super loud, raspy, crazy things. Number five, and last but not least, is going to be getting a tune. A dyno tune. Not some sort of internet tune, but an actual, on the rollers, at a dyno shop, dyno tune where you get to see the horsepower numbers and a dyno person on the dyno actually tunes your car on the dyno. I don't like internet tunes. They never really quite work because you're not tuned specifically for your car. You're just tuned for a setup that is kind of like yours, so they're never really gonna be spot on which can cause problems. I myself use Strader Performance. That's my guy, he's my homie. He's always done me right. I also have an X4 tuner, let me show you that real quick. So this is my SCT X4 and you're going to need either one of these or a chip. The difference between this and a chip is a chip just goes into your computer and it holds your tune. This is the same thing as a chip except for you can load and change tunes. So for instance, if you have this little guy, and something happens and you need a slight tune revision. Say you add like one single part, like a new cold air intake to your Cobra, then you can just tell your tuner and you can send you a new tune on here and you don't have to go back to the dyno every single time that you make a change. If not, you're gonna have to go back on the rollers every single time that you make a change. It's going to get pricey eventually. So I recommend one of these to save you money down the road. I think these are like three or $400 brand new. If you or anyone that you know is about to get a Terminator Cobra and they need some advice, share this video with them. Like the video if you haven't liked this video already. Comment if you have any questions or concerns, or if you wanna say I said something wrong. I do these videos kind of on the fly. This is not my full-time thing. I want it to be my full-time thing. Help me get there. And, and yeah, yeah. I'm just a normal guy that's been making videos about his Cobra for a long time. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. Should I do a vlog? I'll probably have the Cobra fixed by next time. Should I do a vlog or should I do a informative video. Let me know, let me know in the comment box below. Much love, I'll see you guys next video. Bye.